Okay, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about coal, oil and gas. There are three main types of fossil fuels. The first one is coal. Coal is formed when plants sink to the bottom of swamps and under pressure and heat form peat. Peat, over a long period of time, will then form lignite and over more and more time with heat and pressure will form coal. Oil and gas, on the other hand, is formed when organic matter falls to the bottom of oceans and decomposes. Sedimentary rock pile on top and form lots of pressure. The pressure over time forms oil and gas. So why do we even need fossil fuels? Well, we rely on the combustion of oil to power most of our everyday lives. We need gasoline to power trucks carrying goods for stores for planes shipping products to us, trains carrying cargo, boats, and tractors on farms producing food. Most of the U.S. relies on the method of burning coal for electricity. This is bad because it produces a lot of air pollution like CO2, mercury, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides into the atmosphere. The mining of coal can be very bad. Surface coal mining can destroy ecosystems and damage landscapes. Subsurface coal mining is when you uh, dig for coal underneath the ground. This is dangerous because the mountains can collapse onto the miners and trap them beneath the surface. Being trapped underground exposed to coal can lead to black lung disease. There are two main ways of getting oil out of the ground. The first one is an oil well, when the oil is under the ground, and the second is an oil rig, when the oil is under the water. When you pump oil from above the water, there may be a risk of spilling oil and can affect the hydrosphere. There are four ways of transporting oil. The first is through a pipeline. This is usually from the oil well to a processing facility and then to an oil refinery. Oil pipelines cost much less to transport and produce much less carbon emissions. The second method of transporting oil is through a train. It can be used for transporting oil across long distances, but the problem is it is, it is very slow and there is much more carbon emissions. The third way of transporting oil is through a truck. This is usually transporting refined oil to their destinations, like gasoline to a gas station. The problem is that there is much more carbon emissions. And in this picture, this truck is delivering jet fuel to our airport. The final method of oil transport is by ship. This method is for when oil transport over land cannot be used. The problem is that ships are very slow. There is also the risk of oil spills affecting the hydrosphere and in some cases the biosphere because there are a lot of animals such as eagles that live near coastlines. So which is the best method? I would say a pipeline because it costs much less and besides the petroleum industry supporting over 500,000 jobs in Canada, building a pipeline create over 15,000 jobs for Canadians. The problem with having a pipeline or environmental concerns such as oil spills which disrupt the lithosphere and biosphere by contaminating the ground. Pipelines also take space which can disrupt the biosphere by ruining habitats. All of these environmental concerns lead to the protests which delayed the Trans Mountain Pipeline project. This was a big problem about nine months ago when the Trans Mountain Pipeline was trying to be built. This pipeline would carry oil to BC. This pipeline was approved by Trudeau and the Premier of Alberta, but the newly elected BC party did not support it anymore. This delayed the project more, so the Alberta Premier threatened to cut BC's oil supply to get the project to run again. So building a pipeline would lower gas prices, but how do gas prices work? It is basically supply and demand. If an oil refinery shuts down, there is no oil supply, which brings up the gas prices. Also, back when the solar eclipse was happening, gas stations brought up their prices because they knew there was a lot of people going to fill up to drive south. There is also a carbon tax that you pay when fueling up to try and lower carbon emissions. 
Fossil fuels help power our everyday lives and allow us to create new technology, but it also takes a big toll on the atmosphere. Shown here, it takes two molecules of gasoline to produce 16 molecules of carbon dioxide, also using up 25 molecules of oxygen. Over time, this buildup of greenhouse gases blocks heat from leaving the atmosphere and causes a, the global average temperature of our planet to increase. So what has the world done about climate change? We have held world conventions like this one in Paris back in late 2015. They discussed the necessary investments and actions needed for a future of low carbon emissions. Some of the things they discussed include a long-term temperature goal, more climate change education and adaption. Everyone signed for this agreement on Earth Day of 2016. So what do I think about oil? I think that fossil fuels will power our economy for decades to come. It is very hard to get rid of using petroleum when most cars, trucks, and machinery are powered by gasoline. Millions of jobs are also secured in the petroleum industry. It is hard, also hard when countries make money from selling their oil to other places. Switching to a renewable source of energy like electricity will be a slow process getting everyone and their businesses on board.